Hi guys, Paul Wilson here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about creating a custom quiz results page for your Adobe Captivate 8 project. And uh, we're going to use advanced actions to create this custom page. Uh, there could be n any number of reasons why you would want to create a custom results page. Uh, maybe you simply don't enjoy the one that's uh, that's sort of pre-designed in Adobe Captivate or let's say you have some unique uh, requirements such as you need a, a results message of a certain color or a certain shape depending on what that is. So I've set up a very basic course here. There's a little bit of a content slide, a couple of uh, multiple choice, true, false, and uh, drag and drop or matching questions. And then here's my results quiz results page. Now normally you would see all of this information uh, off to the side here, the score, max score, correct questions, but I've gone ahead and I've created um, you know a very simple approach. I just have score and what I've done here is uh, inserted a variable into a text box right after score and that's really straightforward. You just go in and and uh, choose a system variable and you would choose of course something like um, you know quiz uh, let's see here uh, quiz info what am I looking for points scored and then you know just make sure there's enough characters there 50 is fine uh, and then click OK and that creates a little text box there that uh, you know will show up uh, once they've reached this slide. And you'll notice too I've also moved the review area box off to the side. The functionality uh, needs to remain there. If you were to delete this object from this slide or move it right into the scrap area entirely the quiz results page won't work properly. So you'll notice I just have a little bit of it overlapping there. Uh, you don't need much, you just need a little bit overlapping somewhere on the slide and uh, you know you can of course make it completely transparent so that nobody sees even a little bit of it. Instead of that though I have these two different boxes and of course how you have them aligned on the screen is up to you. Um, very simple message. The reason I'm choosing this in this case here is I, let's say the, the client requires that I have a green box for a pass and a red box for a fail and the appropriate message inside. And maybe because of the colors I have to change the font color as well. Whatever your reason is, doesn't matter. Now the important thing for this to work is that you have to give each of these results messages a unique name. Uh, not necessary, but you know, it's from a perspective of ease of use, I like to do this. Uh, so I put in result underscore pass and result underscore fail. Just take a moment and talk about those names. I have result underscore the beginning of both. The reason for that is that it will be very simple to find these object names later on when I'm doing my advanced actions. Okay, let's get started with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the page properties and that you can just click on your scrap area and then click properties. Now normally when you enter a slide like this you'll see on enter and it's just continue. There's nothing happening when you load this slide. But we're going to change that. We're going to execute advanced actions. Okay. Now we don't have a script for this advanced actions yet, but we're going to create one right now. So I'm going to click the little folder icon next to the script drop down and that's going to bring up the advanced actions window. Now the first thing we need to select is the action type. In this case here it's a conditional action. So in other words a certain condition needs to be met for the actions on this page to be uh, run or displayed as the case may be. Let's give this action a name. We're just going to call it 
result or results maybe and uh, we're going to perform this if else statement and for those who've got some experience doing any kind of coding will recognize the concept of an if then else statement uh, if all the conditions are true so we're just going to click on the first line here of the if portion of the advanced actions and you'll see there's all all, all you have to do is select the drop downs for the appropriate items so in this case here we want to work off of a variable and that variable we're going to work off for is CP quiz info pass fail. Now this is a system variable in Adobe Captivate 8 so anytime you create a Captivate 8 course with a quiz this variable will be populated and there's two possible uh, values for that we're going to say is equal to and a literal value of either 1 or 0 because 1 is a pass and 0 is a fail in this case we're going to choose 1 so we're going to perform the following actions which we'll get it get to in a second if the user has passed the quiz that's all we're saying so let's click down to the actions so all we want to do is show the result pass object and as a precaution you probably don't need this but we're gonna hide the result fail message now if the opposite were true if the user has failed the quiz we have to set that up and that's done under the else section here so just remember we're showing the pass and hiding the fail we're going to do the opposite in else. We're going to show the fail message. Unfortunately, in this case, and then we are going to hide the pass message. Like I said, it's probably not necessary to do the hiding part because we've set up these objects to be hidden already but you know it's just sort of my own peace of mind I put that in so that's it that's as complicated as it needs to be I'll just review real quickly here again we've created this conditional action that basically states if the user has passed in other words they've gotten a value of one for pass fail show the pass message hide the fail message otherwise show the fail message hide the pass mess the the pass message so let's hit close it's going to prompt us to save that here script save successfully so now let's make sure we have that advanced action selected and we'll choose it there it is the results message there so now if I run this and we'll just do a quick little preview here of what this should look like let's hope hope that it works we'll play it we'll um, we'll do the this little project here it shouldn't take too long to run we'll see if it works well here again a very straightforward quiz There's three questions here I haven't done anything fancy here so uh, we'll just say Question one is correct, and it will continue, and we'll say true. Good job, we're so smart. And these just match up one to one here. Great. And now we'll go to our results page. Congratulations, you passed the quiz. I got a score of 30. That's it.